Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you some common troubleshooting steps you can take to help debug an issue uh, with Codium in VS Code. So if you're experiencing a problem with Codium, um, the first thing that you should try is seeing if there's an update available. So to do that, I would go to the extensions uh, tab on the side panel over here and click on Codium. And if you see that there's an update available, I would try to update it. So I can see that there's an update available to version 1.1.59. I'm gonna try installing that and it's gonna ask me to reload VS Code. So let's do that. Now, if that still doesn't fix the problem, I would note down what version you have installed by going to, clicking the three dots here, clicking show running extensions and noting down the version of Codium that you have running just to help us diagnose. So for my case, it's 1.1.59. Then the next thing to do is to go to the output tab and copy all the output for Codium and send that to us. So you're gonna to go to terminal, new terminal, go to the output tab over here. Then you're gonna to want to select uh, Codium from the drop down menu over here, and you're looking for Codium with a capital C. And then we'd like you to copy the entire output that you see here. It could be quite long, but we do need the entire thing. And we'd like you to send this to us. Now, there's two ways to get into contact with us. The first recommended approach is to open a support ticket on our Discord server. So if you go to our website over here, in the top right corner, you should see a Discord icon. Clicking that will take you to our Discord server where you can open a, open a support ticket and send us that output and describe the problem you're experiencing. And then we can use that output to help uh, diagnose the issue and uh, fix whatever it is that you're experiencing. If you don't want to use Discord for whatever reason, then you can also get into contact with us from the contact page on our website. So company, contact, just fill out that form. That'll send us an email and we can reply to you and uh, converse with you. But we do recommend the Discord because other users might be experiencing similar problems uh, and we might have already have had a fix rolled out that we haven't um, yet uh, deployed. So try the Discord first, um, but if not, you can contact us via email. Okay, hopefully that'll help you.